Hey, Nathan here. Welcome to another new series that discusses game math. Now, I decided to make this series standalone and not have math in all my other series. For those that understand the math, uh, they don't need to sit through 10 or 20 minutes for a math discussion that they already know. And for those that do not know the math side of things and are interested in it, they can just check out these videos. Now, I will take some requests. For now, it's going to be 2D only. We're going to get into 3D in the future. But for now, it's going to be 2D math only. Uh, the 3D math is going to be more complicated, so this series will really come into play on that side. But there will be some math and physics stuff that we will discuss for 2D development as well. So if you have anything you want me to discuss, let me know. Otherwise, whenever I get to a video that I want to discuss math, I will release a game math episode. So the plans for this series are, whenever I work on a tutorial for DirectX or Monogame or something, and I encounter something that I like to talk about, either math or physics or something like that, something related to mathematics... I will release a dedicated math video for game developers on the concepts of it and the mathematics of it so you understand what to do. With that being said, the first tutorial in this series will cover vectors because I've already finished the monogame basic training series. I haven't released all the videos yet, but I have finished it. And the second video discusses movement, which we use a vector for position and velocity. So for those that do not know how vectors work and how to use math to get the angle of a vector or to... You have the angle and you have the speed you want to achieve and how to create a vector that way. I show it to you in code, but if you want to understand it in mathematics, you can check out this video that's coming up. So again, this is the first video of the series, and the first thing I like to do is discuss the series as a whole. Uh, I got a Surface Pro 3. Let me just detach my keyboard here. So that way I can draw, and I can draw the math as we talk about it. That way it's a lot easier to deal with than having me create a whole video sequence and after effects and having to spend 20 hours on a 10 minute video working on it in after effects i can just draw in here so i'm going to make a new section here introduction and then uh, i'm just going to leave the untitled i'm not going to keep this it's just for an example so i can draw here on my surface pro 3 so uh, you will see me as I'm drawing, like I'll discuss x is equal to 3 and so on, and do that kind of thing so you can see as I'm drawing and as I'm explaining it. So that's the series. I will be in OneNote doing this, and I will probably release these as PDF versions, or I will have the OneNote available for read-only access. I haven't decided yet. So that is the plan. I will just discuss mathematics and as I'm doing that I'm gonna just draw stuff here. So let me know if you have any requests for me to cover on mathematics side. Remember 3D will come later. I'm gonna get all the 2D stuff out of the way and then I will jump into 3D. I'm going to use 3D Studio Max now that you can pay monthly and I don't have to spend $3,000 up front for it. You know, if I just dedicate two months of my time to just 3D tutorials and get like 50 tutorials finished, you know, I only have to spend, what, $300 instead of 3000 So now that they do that, you know, I, I tried Blender and I wasn't really fan of big fan of Blender. I liked 3D Studio Max back when it was, I don't know, five years ago, whatever version that was. But 
they didn't have a subscription model then, so I had to pay 3000 I think it's actually 3500 or 600 or something like that. And that's a lot of money up front to spend for just casual tutorials and stuff. So 3D will come later. I want to get 2D stuff done and get some of my projects done. So if you have any 3D mathematic requ requests, just let me know and I'll add that to my list. Uh, I have a OneNote section here for, uh, I think it's under my, just my notes. New section, no. More tutorials. Here we go. So I do have a section for tutorials. And... I did a mono game, C sharp, uh, nothing there yet, DirectX, a few of the basic tutorials left, and some notes that I need to make. So I, I'm making a notes section here for all the tutorials I'm going to be making. So if you have any requests, I'll add it to the tutorials section here. Uh, so let's go back to game math and introduction. Okay, let's close that, make a new section for uh, the new tutorials. Let's close that. Okay, so the next tutorial in the series will cover vectors. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the series.